Well, hello, everybody. Um, this week has been, I keep calling it a watershed moment, and uh, it, it absolutely has been. Back when I first started this whole idea of, you know, changing my life, starting over, um, and living on a sailboat and sailing, <clears throat> I had this vision of what that was going to be like. Um, as I've mentioned several times, uh, I've wanted, I've been attracted to the ocean since I was a little kid. I've always wanted to live near the ocean. The idea of living on a sailboat occurred to me uh, 12, 15 years ago now, I want to say, when I bought a book on how to build a plywood and fiberglass drift boat. I was going to fly fish from this drift boat. Well, the, the drift boat never got built, but the seed was planted from that book when I looked and saw a chapter on how to build uh, a sailboat, a small sailboat that was used. Uh, it had a cabin and the guy in the picture on the boat was was living in it or camping with it. And I, that's when it went off in my head that you can live on a sailboat. And it just occurred to me like how amazing that would be. So for 15 years, I've been sort of ruminating that idea and building it up in my head as, as something that I might be able to do myself. And, and here I am. <laughs> it's been since uh, December that I've been here on the sailboat. You can go back to the previous videos and watch all of those stories. But the one thing that was missing from, from all of those videos in the past and, and in my mind it was missing is like, why was I doing this? You know, I, I want to live on a sailboat. I want to live near the ocean, but why? This week, some some things have happened in the background that, that are important to me, but they've just happened. They are stories of joy and, and stories of, of sorrow. One day I, I might tell those stories. Um, but what happened with those, um, especially with those sorrows, is that I was able to sort of just sit back and reflect on things. I always... It's very true that in times of, of hardship, um, that is when some of the greatest rewards can occur. Um, and that's what happened here. So on Monday of this week, it suddenly occurred to me what I wanted to do with sailing. I hesitate to say with this sailboat because you'll hear why in a minute. The background story of my life, my name is actually John David Fraser. That's the name I was born with. I carry my original birth certificate with me the entire time. Um, when I was born, my father passed away before I reached the age of one. He was only 23 years old, and his name was also John David Fraser. And since then, I was raised by a wonderful family, the Schneiders, who who my mom remarried and I took their name um, and it was, it's been a wonderful life filled with love and support. And I'm very grateful for that. My, my biological family, the Frasers had been neglected in that whole life of mine. I had minor contact with them and um, and it's something that now, as I get older, I deeply regret. It's, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, it was nobody's fault. It just happened. Um, and there's a great story behind why it happened too, or at least I, how I picture that it happened. Um, and I will tell that story eventually as well. But um, there's a strong connection with Scotland in that in the Fraser side, you know, the Frasers come from the Inverness Valley. We've been in Canada for generations now, but my grandma would travel back to Scotland. My Aunt June, some of my fondest childhood memories are, I, I would, my, my grandma and grandpa Fraser lived in this house and, and they had a finished basement down below and it was very long and, uh, and beautifully finished basement you know from the 70s the dark wood and uh, and I remember being that that place being magical my aunt June would teach highland dancing down there she did for years and as a little guy I 
I don't remember if I wasn't allowed down there, but I seem to recall, like, don't bother Auntie June and don't bother the dancers. You know, it was her business. And uh, But I remember I would sneak down there whenever whenever opportunity uh, presented itself. And it wasn't weird. I was only like eight or nine years old. It wasn't for the girls. It was for the swords on the floor and the sound of the bag of the pipe music. And to this day, if you look at the history on my YouTube feed, you know, if you could look at the history on my YouTube feed, you'd see that uh, that I'm always watching the Edinburgh military tattoo videos and the pipe, the drum pipe videos and um, the pipe band videos. And um, so Scotland is, holds this very special place in my heart. It's my ancestral home. And I've been there only once, very briefly. It was a, a stopover on another flight. And, you know... I want to go back there. So it occurred to me suddenly that the entire mission that I have now is to sail back to my ancestral home of Scotland. That's a big, that's a big project. That's a big, big project. I don't think that I can do it on this boat. The plan now is to sail here to get proficient at sailing um, and then to make my way down the west coast of the United States, through the Panama Canal and into the Caribbean, up the eastern seaboard, back into Canada on the east coast, um, Greenland, Iceland, the Faroe Islands, and ultimately Scotland. That's a big trip. The, the big blue water that is between me and Scotland um, will probably have to be sailed with another boat um, but it's going to take months or years even for me to reach that point so the purpose of this channel now is simply going to be documenting that journey that epic journey that of traveling to Scotland along the way we're going to meet all of the people that we can we're going to meet and visit all of the places that we can we're going to try to live as self-sufficiently as I, as I can. We're going to, I say we, me and be Sauvage. We're going to live as sufficiently as we can or self-sufficiently as we can, hunting, fishing, foraging for our food. Probably not so much the hunting, but we'll see. Um, and we'll explore all of those things that I'm still passionate about. I'm passionate about wild food. I'm passionate about collecting wild food. And then I'm really passionate about cooking wild food. I can't really do that here in a marina, but I can do it when I'm sailing and visiting all these remote places and, and wonderful people that I've yet to meet. Which leads me to the second part of this quest, which is that I've decided that I'm just tired of being alone. My heart is filled with love and I want to share that. Um, I wrote an article, or I wrote a post. I posted it on LinkedIn. <laughs> it's safe for me to post on, on LinkedIn because nobody ever sees those posts. But I wrote a, a piece, a short piece, and it's the first time that I've ever written something that made myself cry. And it was, that was on, that was on Tuesday morning that I wrote that actually. And it was right before my phone call with my business coach, Adam T. Smith. And I was upset, but it was a happy upset. And the maybe you can go find that. It's on LinkedIn. If you just look up, look up John David Schneider on LinkedIn, you'll see it. I've also posted it in an article um, on my blog. So if you go to uh, johnswildlife.com, you'll be able to find that on the blog. It's the latest article. And so I, I copied and pasted that piece into that article. Um, and it's just describing this overwhelming feeling I have of uh, finding my forever person. Um, I can see her. I can see her very clearly and I can hear her laughter and um, I can feel that joy. I love her already, but I have to go find her. I, I can't just, you know, sit here in the marina and, 
and um, be aimless in my pursuit of things. So the new vision for the channel is, is as I've spelled out, is to get to Scotland to enjoy incredible adventure along the way, and it's to try to find that forever person for me. Um, and I'll know her when I see her. So I hope you'll still follow along on this journey. It's going to be epic. It, um, I'm going to do all of the fun things that I know how to do. <laughs> and, and I'm still learning how to sail. I mean, this isn't, you know, some, some journey, some boring journey, some boring drive across the continent that, that, you know, it's, it's, I have to figure out how to get there. Um, and it's basically starting from scratch. Right now I'm sitting in the marina and I'm at mile zero. And um, it's exciting and nervous. So I hope you follow along. Make sure you subscribe to, to the channel to follow along. You can also become a member of our Patreon community. Um, this new um, uh, focus on the channel has created some opportunity for me there too, where, you know, patrons will now see updates of where we are in the journey, um, especially as we get traveling along. But patrons will also get, you know, really behind the scenes views of what is happening and what I'm doing and what I do to prepare for this trip. And then when I'm on the trip, you'll get behind the scenes updates and postcards from wherever I am. Um, so anyways, it'll all be spelled out there. The, the Patreon community is growing. Um, we hit our 10 paid patrons for the month of March. I would love to get, I think we're at 12 now. I would love to get to 20 by the end of April. So we're running out of time. So if you feel like supporting this quest, this journey that I'm on, I would really appreciate it. And you can head over to Patreon. The link is in the channel description for now until I can link in videos. So that is it. I hope that you will join me in this journey. It's going to be fun. I promise. I, I want you to help me as well with just leaving your comments. So many of you that are following me are already on your sailing journeys and you have done it before. I'm getting so much feedback from people on things that I'm doing wrong or things that I'm doing right. And I really appreciate that. I read everybody's comments and I accept them um, with, with the intention that they are produced, which is to help. Um, so I love that. So thank you for that. So I think that's about it. Um, I'm, I, it's hard to imagine that I've ever felt better than I do right now. Um, I'm filled with joy and hope and I'm scared. Um, and, uh, but that's all good. That's being alive, man. So um, it, I'm, I'm thriving in that, in this condition of, of sorrow from things that don't happen the way I want the joy of the things that do and everything in between. So <laughs> thanks for being here and thanks for following along. We'll see you soon.